What's up, infamous Bob? My homeboy. Joseph Pietaro. I want an apology. Ugh, Jesus Christ. Looking for my glasses. I know how much you guys love it when I wear my glasses. I can't read comments without my glasses. I'm going to be 51 next week. Uh, there we go. All right, look, we're already to 15 people. This account is getting more popular. So um, what Instagram did by blocking me from my uh, going live on my other account is actually... Mac from Toronto, you psycho fuck. What's your opinion on the coronavirus? Um, I hope it hits um, Nigeria. Um, Nigeria has 200 million people. Okay? Think about that. Look at Nigeria on the map. 200 million people live in Nigeria. I, 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 would, I would pay airfare. For a, for a Chinaman infected with the coronavirus to fly to Nigeria, if they would let me. So, okay, here's what's been burning me the past 20, or not 24 hours, 18 hours, okay? Last night, I'm just sitting here kind of minding my own business, and... I, I start getting DMs, and I'm getting screenshots from um, Adam McLeod's live, because uh, I'm not naming names, um, but a certain person asked Adam if Jay is going to apologize to Hamburg in person, and almost... At the exact same time, like within moments of each other, I'm also finding out that um, our good friend Hamburg um, had had been sending screenshots from our private chat to yet another person to make himself look like the good guy and throw the rest of us under the bus. Um that's what he does. He contacts people that we're talking shit about in the private chat. And then like, oh, I don't understand why they think this about you. I think you are a good person. Look what they say about you. Oh, but I like you. He did it to Dale. We busted him doing it to Nate. And um, that's when I went too far and took things off the deep edge and told people to dox his family, and I apologize for that. That was wrong. Um, because this is between me
looking up to and disclosing information about private conversations to try and make himself look like the good guy with other people, that's enough, man. That's enough. Enough is enough. So to answer that person's question that was on Adam McLeod's live yesterday, last night, if I'm going to apologize to Hamburg in, in person, I got nothing to say to Hamburg. I don't ever want to see or talk. It too far and involving um, the doxing of his daughter, which I didn't do. I asked people to do it. So if I asked you to jump off a cliff, are you going to jump off a cliff? So, you know, but some, some of the misfit maniacs are that stupid. If I have to, to jump off a cliff, they would jump off a cliff. So I was being a bit reckless. But as far as between me and Hamburg, no, 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 no. People are still coming forward. And saying, Hamburg sent us screenshots from your private fucking chat. Oh. Now, I, I don't want to trash Hamburg too bad. but let, Because you know what? At the end of the day, Hamburg, Hamburg's heart is in the right place, okay? But... I don't think Hamburg is very smart, okay? So what Hamburg does, because Hamburg tries to play Switzerland. He tries to not have an opinion about anybody. He tries to not talk shit with anybody. He wants to be friends with everybody, or at least neutral. So what Hamburg does, without... I must have bad internet here in this location. Um, sorry, I got Verizon, and I'm not switching to AT and T. AT and T can fucking blow me. I just, I'm, I'm with Verizon. Um. So, here's the deal. Like I said, Hamburg's heart is in the right place. He can't help himself, like. You guys remember when, when Johnny Bravo and Mark Lubliner were feuding? Hamburg is the kind of guy that, without anybody asking him, is going to start emailing or DMing both parties trying to get a truce. And he'll use any information he can. He will betray you. He will literally betray you. To play Switzerland. That's a fucking sickness in, in my in my eyes. The only thing I can say in, in in his in Hamburg's defense is his heart's in the right place, but he's stupid upstairs. He doesn't realize he's making things worse. Like, you know, he, he calls he, he, he contacts Dale. And says, oh, Dale, I, Jay Masters is a good guy. You got to be friends with Jay Masters. I don't know why he says you are five foot six, 205 pound piece of deck of card, fat piece of fob who grew up hillbilly on a dirt floor and, oh, and, and you fell for it that your wife was a virgin. Oh, I don't know why Yay say that thing. Oh, Yay is being ridiculous. He a good guy. I know you are a good guy, Dale. Dale, you and Yay Master shall be friends. And, and then... <sighs> Meanwhile, Hamburg just made everything fucking worse. Who's this special agent clown? It's funny when Jay thinks he's smart in playing 5D chess. Um, I'm really... Dude, you're smarter than me because I don't know what 5D chess is, okay? I think you're a, you're a geek and you don't belong on this live, so go away. Jesus Christ, 5D chess. That's gay. I don't even... I, I don't do games. Like... What, yeah, Big J, he's... Playing World of Warcraft right now. 
Yeah. He's graduated his way up to Grand Wizard. Yeah. Raw Rod. Feel like he does it to better with the person he's telling. Yes, exactly. Hamburg tries to mend fences between people without telling the two people, okay? And that can make things worse, okay? Um, oh, here's a good one to read. Dale's wife is a loudmouth, but her dumb husband keeps thrusting his family in the piss. Real man's man Dale is, laughing out loud. All right, so I, I spoke my piece about Hamburg. I don't want to keep running Hamburg through the through the ringer, because like I just said, I apologize for what I did to, to his daughter. I shouldn't have told um, that other guy person um, to dox his daughter, but I knew that would fucking scare the fuck out of Hamburg and maybe teach him a fucking lesson. But <laughs> Hamburg can't be taught a lesson. I think you could. I think you could hit Hamburg over the head with a two-by-four. And then he would he would run over to the person that told the person to hit him over the head with a two-by-four. And, oh, I am not mad at your friend who hit me over the head with a two-by-four. I know he is a good guy, and I know you are a good guy. Sorry, Hamburg. The world's not that simple, brah. You need to stay in Sweden, brah. You wouldn't last two seconds in Detroit or Chicago or Miami or any place hard. Uh, just so, I, dude, I wish you the best, Brother Hamburg, but, dude, I, I can't have you in my inner circle or, or being one of my close friends. It's it, That's it. You, you, you don't know what it's like to keep a fucking secret and be part of a brotherhood. Those guys in my private chat, we're like, we're tight, brah. You were the fucking leaker. Okay? You were the leaker. All right? And I admit I took two things too far. But you know, you know what? You guys wouldn't love me if I didn't take things too far. So fuck it. It's over. And I mean it's over. And I, and to answer that that person on 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 Adam McLeod's live, nah, I I have no reason to want to apologize to Hamburg in person. I don't want to see that guy. I don't want to hear about that guy. He he's not he's not up to par with the type of men I run with. You, you 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 don't be a squealer. You you don't run to other people with information to try and make yourself look like the good guy. Like, oh, look at what they are saying about you. But I'm not saying that. I think you are a good person. I like you. But I like them too. I think the two of you should talk. See, get the fuck out of here with that. Get the fuck out of here with that. So... Me and Hamburg are done, but I, I, I don't owe him an apology. I, I know I took it too far, and I apologize for that. The, who is this spatial, special agent person? They're just completely a troll. Meow Man is on here? Adam K or Andrew Kalura? Andrew Kalura is not even on my other page. But he follows me on my troll page. Come on, meow man. Grow a set of nuts, brah. Oh. Kim took her ring off. I don't know what that means. Oh. Yeah, I guess I, I guess I brought up that um, Kim had a husband. Wolfpack Eric, is Hamburg special agent? I doubt it. I don't think Hamburg has troll accounts. I really don't. I think when Hamburg does the shit he does, he does it from his main account because, his, like I said, 
His heart's in the right place. He doesn't know he's fucking up. Okay? Mac from Toronto, are you and Kim good now? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I haven't really spoken with her. Um, I'm sure she's bitter. I mean, she kept it a secret for a long time that she was really married. Um, so, hard comer. I love this shit. Takes us to retard levels. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, we're like, Instagram has turned us into eighth grade, eighth graders. Like, gossiping in the hallways about, like, who kissed who. You know. It, Jay, why aren't you on The Bedroom Bully? How do we know this is real? You are a special kind of stupid if you don't think this is real. Um, are you so stupid that if I tell you this is fake and this really isn't me, you're going to believe it? This is fake. This is not Jay. This is Jay's twin brother. His f much fatter and much stupider brother. Because Jay is thinner and ripped and has an IQ of about 160. So I can't believe you caught on to it and no one else did. I'm his fat evil twin. Good job, bro. Jay, why are you on a different account? I'm sick of explaining this. Instagram has stopped me from going live on my main account. <clears throat> Uncle Jay, please blow a load in your belly button tonight. <clears throat> Dr. Jayster, we can't tell, Jay. Take off the glasses. Well, no, th that's my disguise. When I wear these glasses, you don't know it's me. It half-brother Jay. No, not half-brother. Twin brother. There's no half-brother in my life. Half brother. Is there such a thing? Like half brother, half sister? If you have, like, okay, some people have the same parents, both. But, um, some people have the same father, some people have the same mother. Now, I don't, I don't have any, any other situation. I'm an only child, except for my evil twin. Um, now, if I did have one of those situations where my father had another child without my mother, and or the opposite, if my mother had a child without my father, I, I personally would never, ever call that person my half-brother or sister. That's a slap in the fucking face. They're, they're, you're, you're either my brother or my sister, or you're not. Um, and and that, that would come down to whether I liked him or not. So, so what you people call half-brother, half-sister, I think if I liked him, they would be brother, or they would be sister. And if I didn't like them, they'd be nothing to me. There are no half-brothers. There are no half-sisters. You're either with us, or you're against us. You can't be halfway with us. I think that's pretty profound, what I just said. Someone needs to edit that little clip and fucking post it. Everyone thinks I'm so mean and nasty, but that was actually pretty nice. <clears throat> oh, God. The Jason Masterson account is on here. What's up, bro?
Jason Masterson. There's there's a special person on here that that's using my name. Isn't that special? I wish I had a stepsister growing up for obvious reasons. Yeah, I agree. I would definitely fuck a cousin. There, There isn't any part of me that objects to fucking a cousin. Now, if, if you have a if you have a baby with a cousin, is it guaranteed to be like a Genova? Or, or, I mean, isn't there like a chance it could be normal, or is it guaranteed to be a Genova? I don't know. I remember growing up, um, one of my one of my female cousins, female. Notice I threw that in there. Um, I, I was I was so little, and I. I I said I wanted to marry her when I got older. And I must have been about four. Because she smelled really good. Like like Joe Biden. You know how Joe Biden likes to smell women? He likes to touch them. Smell their hair. Dude, I get it. Women are nice. Dude. It, it, maybe, it, if you don't like... To touch a woman when you meet them or want to smell them, you are either gay or you, you've you just been, like, castrated through modern-day society and become a cuckold. Need to ask Dale. Banging cousins is his expertise. Poor Dale. I can't find a show small enough to get a first place trophy. We had Cornelius on here a couple nights ago. Ugh. Cornelius is a good fucking man. I don't know how he got wrapped up into saying he was the trainer of that little twerp. Dale is a perennial, which means year after year, loser. Okay? Like, some people have good years, and they have bad years. But when you lose every year, doesn't that make you a perennial loser? I mean, when is the last time Dale won anything? I remember when we, we first met Dale, and uh, Dale's spouting off all sorts of fucking lies. And he was a semi-pro football player. The kid was fucking 5'6", 290 pounds. What position did he play at 5'6", 290? Um, defensive tackle? Or fullback? Dale's probably going to tell you he was a fullback, but I got to tell you, even if you're a little shrimp at 5'6", you're not going to be quick at 290. So Dale's a fucking little liar. I've been getting messages. Oh, Jay, you're, Dale lives in your head. Didn't live in my head that day I got first place now, did he? If Dale would have if Dale if Dale was living in my head that day I was doing the bench press contest, I would have got third. Okay? So all you people that think Dale lives in my head. If Dale lived in my head. Wouldn't I feel guilty about getting first? Because if, if Dale, if I was so jealous of Dale, wouldn't I want to be third? I mean, yeah, 
Dale, Dale better watch his P's and Q's. He talks big mojo for being such a little man. I don't think anybody really likes Dale. Oh, I feel so good at rest. I mean, any. Oh, soup is on here. That kid's a fucking weirdo. Lord Potato 66. Hamburg likes Dale. Yeah. When I first started this Detroit Diesel account, because um, Dale had me blocked on my Bedroom Bully account, I went, I went and checked out Dale's account, and there's Hamburg, like like a little, little fucking sixth grade bitch, like fawning over Dale's photos, like saying how beast mode you are, Dale. Oh, Dale, beast mode. I about threw up. You know, Hamburg, Hamburg is a complete traitor. Complete Benedict Arnold. Oop, what was that? <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. That's guaranteed to get screenshot. Jesus Christ. What's on that shelf, Jay? What do you mean? Nothing. Um, yeah, Hamburg, Hamburg disgusts me. Like, trying to be my friend, and then you, you create a troll account. This isn't even really a troll account. Detroit Diesel is me. Look, I, do I, I might not have my picture as my profile pic, but here I am, brah. So I go and see fucking Dale, or I mean Hamburg, fawning all over Dale. Just disgusting. And I wouldn't be surprised if, if, if Hamburg is fawning all over Mark Lubliner. Telling Mark Lubliner how fucking great he is and how good he looks. And, man, you're doing so good with your pro comeback. God bless you, Mark, from Sweden. Heh. <laughs> And it's probably not the real Brad. <clears throat> Is McCock on here? My good friend Adam McLeod. Adam McLeod's a good guy. <clears throat> I I trashed Adam McLeod on here a little bit. And um I apologize to him on the phone, not face to face, but I, on the phone, I apologize to Adam McLeod because he's a good person. Um, and what Adam McLeod did wasn't directly against me, even though it pissed me off and, and fucked me over. See, I, I completely overreacted with the Adam McLeod thing. Um, what Adam McLeod did in that situation resulted in my mother getting doxxed. Um, and then I just fucking lost my marbles. So, my bad. Whatever. I, I told Adam, I, we're good, bro. You're good. I'm good. Because he's a good person. He didn't mean to cause anybody any harm. And, and I know what's going through your heads right now. Oh, Jay, you just you said the same thing about Hamburg. You said his heart's in the good place. Yeah, but Adam is smart. Hamburg is stupid. See the difference? Yeah, I. The misfits don't need Hamburg. They, 
Last time, last time Hamburg came to the United States, his last vacation, that guy couldn't stay sober after fucking 10 in the morning. Um, I, I, you know, he, 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 the day I was meeting Lenny at the gym, he shows up fucking after drinking beer in the sun all day. Like, get the fuck out of here. You're a clown. You know. Guy, guy's been talking about doing TRT, you know, for months now on the internet, making a jackass out of himself. And then, then he, he shows up at the gym drunk. Like, oh, Lenny, you're looking Jack, Lenny. Oh, Jay. Oh, Jay, be careful. I'm worried about your knees. Amber, get the fuck out of here, you drunk fucking loser, man. If your wife didn't live in a socialist country, she would have fucking ditched your ass years ago. Jesus Christ, Hamburg. Complete clown. Complete clown. He, he threw me under the bus with Dale. He threw me under the... And, and, dude, why would you throw me under the bus with Dale? Don't I say enough about Dale... Right here? Why would Hamburg have to help? And then he did the same thing with Nate. All the shit I say on here about Nate. Like, Nate, Nate's a complete cuck. Like, who, who, who shows pictures, who posts pictures napping with their fucking bullshit little lap dog? I mean, that's, that, that's like gay, gay grinder. Like, my grinder photo is me napping with my schnauzer's cock on my forehead. I mean, Nail's post, Nate is posting, like, grinder profile photos with that dog's cock on his forehead. And so, Hamburg doesn't need to throw me under the bus with Nate. Nate knows how I feel. He's, Nate's a cuck. But there was no cheating. So, Nate's okay with it. Um, meanwhile, that Taylor guy banged her every which way from fucking France, you know, while they were taking a break. But because they were taking a break, it wasn't cheating. Well, where I come from, when you're taking a break, both people, uh, it's kind of an unwritten rule. Both people agree to not go fuck other people. You just need a little break. But she goes and posts fucking pictures and videos lap riding that little Taylor fool. So Hamburg throws me under the bus with Nate, something he didn't need to do. But then the, this third person I just found out about the last yesterday or last night. I, what What is he doing? A complete clown. Oh, yay, Master said this about you. Oh, you should see what they say about you in the private chat. I try and stick up for you. Oh, I think you are a great person. Dude, that isn't how men roll. That isn't how men treat each other. That you act like you're one of the boys, and then you take a bunch of screenshots of the conversation, and then you run to the other person and show them what was said about you, about them, to make yourself look better? Hamburg, you you are fucking low, brother. Low. Try, and you're a married man. And the person you did that to that I just found out about yesterday is a single woman. And... You're throwing the, you're a married man, obviously unhappily, um, and you're throwing your boys under the bus to try and swoon some single chick that's, that's almost half your age and, and can probably beat you in powerlifting because you're such a fucking drunk. Yeah, H Hamburg and I are not going to reconcile because 
more and more people are going to come forward and be like, Jay, you were right. I never put two and two together. When Hamburg was messaging me, he was always, always throwing other people under the bus to make himself look better. But I didn't put it together at the time. Mark my words. This this is like a Harvey Weinstein thing with Hamburg. That's his that that's his mo. That's how Hamburg operates. He he, he goes to the weaker person and tries to play their friend, and then and then he throws the alpha males that have been fucking laughing at the weak the weaker person behind their back, under the bus. Hamburg poses as an alpha male to try and get in the club, but really he's a beta cuck. And and, and then he seeks out, you know, other people he, he might see in this world that are victims and tries to friend them. It's pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. Who does that? That's like... Like the opposite of a of a fucking sociopath. Hamburger is the opposite of a sociopath. He's like an empiopath. He like feels for the other person. That that that's so gay. That's not even on the my gay radar. Like it's I, I I'm just speechless how gay what he does is like no oh, Hamburg's worse than Dale whoever just said Hamburg is almost as bad as Dale Hamburg is worse than Dale Dale at five foot six Dale has the balls to like talk shit. And, and and say pe say things about other people, and admit he doesn't like people. I mean, Dale's got a little sack for a little guy. I mean, he's a good guy, you know. Hamburg, on the other hand, is is a spineless fuck. He will work his way into your friendship, work his way into the intertwinings of you and your friends. And and then then use it all to to try and uncuck himself. It, it, it's fucked. It's absolutely fucked. If if you were cucked like Hamburg, would you fuck over other men to try and better your situation? I mean, that's fucked. Absolutely fucked. Yeah. Hamburg will never be a part of my life. Af after what he did, trying to play Switzerland around the internet. I mean, Hamburg, I don't need your help. You fucking cocksucker. You know... I was in an internet feud with PJ Braun. And you know what? When I was at the Olympia, I went up and shook PJ Braun's fucking hand. And you know what? You motherfuckers have no idea how close of friends me and PJ are. Like, I don't really hang out with PJ. Um, but that's going to change. In, in fact, um, maybe I should bring this up right now. PJ and I um, were exchanging DMs a few days ago, and um, he agreed to do a video um, filming me driving his Hellcat Challenger. You heard it here fir first, folks. PJ Braun is going to film me driving his Hellcat Challenger. And, you know, you go back two years, and him and I, you know, you people wanted to put us in a boxing ring. Dude, 
everyone needs to stay out of our business. Some of us know marketing. Most of you don't. Like, I don't know if you people are smart enough to comprehend, like, like what Vince McMahon has done in the WWE. What I did with PJ, it, it, and PJ wasn't even a willing participant in the beginning. I kind of forced him into the role. And if he's mad at me, he's over it by now because he came on our podcast and, and him and I are bros. Yeah, PJ's going to let me drive the Hellcat. I mean, maybe you don't believe me? I could be a pussy. I could be a pussy like Hamburg and screenshot the fucking DM. But I'm not like that. I'm not like that. And what's PJ got to lose? It's not like I asked to drive his Corvette or his Ferrari. Jay is smart. Jay is so fucking smart. That last comment should have made your balls fall off. Of course I got PJ to agree to it. It's not like I asked to drive his Corvette or his Ferrari. I asked to drive his Dodge. That's called brains, people. See, some of you stupid people might, oh, Jay, shoot for the top. Send, send PJ a, a message that you want to drive his, his Ferrari. And if that doesn't work out, you, you, you won't stand for anything less than driving his Corvette. Get the fuck out of here. I'm a Detroit boy. Detroit Diesel, 15 point fucking O. I want to drive that Challenger, that fucking motherfucking Hemi. Challenger is what Detroit boys are all about. Some goddamn muscle cars. People are stupid. You know, I'm, I'm sure Hamburg is trying to fix me and Johnny Bravo's fucking relationship. Bravo is smart enough to realize that even when I troll Bravo, him and I are still okay. <sighs> and I troll Bravo pretty fucking hard. But Bravo is smart. Johnny Bravo is smart. You know, you, you know what Hamburg should do? Here's a good project for fucking Hamburg. Hamburg, sh Hamburg should fucking start messaging Cassidy Campbell and, 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 and explain to Cassidy Campbell that Jay Masters of the Delray Misfits doesn't really like your videos. Because that's the truth. I, I really don't care for Cassidy Campbell's content, but nothing against the person. And I've I've been critical of Bravo for being associated with Cassidy Campbell, but that doesn't mean I'm critical of Johnny Bravo as a fucking person. Fuck. In a in a different thread, I got Bravo to to agree to let me drive his fucking '68 Mustang 428. Big J is smart. I'm the Detroit Diesel. Don't fuck with me. But Cassidy Campbell, yeah, I'm not a fan. But you know what? Maybe when the cameras aren't rolling, maybe I like the guy. I don't know. You know, maybe Bravo will make that happen. But I think Hamburg, Hamburg should just blow up Cassidy Campbell's DM. Oh, Cassidy, you should talk to Yay Masters. He's a good guy. Who wants that? When people should make friends on their own. You don't need some drunk Swede. 
doing it for you. I'm a car guy. So, I got two offers on the table. Bravo said I could drive the fucking 68, which is one of my favorite cars. 68 Fastback with a 428. Are you kidding me? That's like the creme de la creme. And then, and then P.J. Braun's fucking Hellcat Challenger. Though, in fact, oh my God, if we could ever get those two cars in the same location at the same time. Imagine that. Johnny Bravo and Blackstone Labs Drag Race. With Bravo's, I believe it, that's a Shelby that Bravo has. Because I've seen the taillights. Those are Shelby taillights. I think it's a 68 Shelby 428 Super Cobra Jet. I could be wrong, but I know my cars. Imagine, imagine Bravo collabing with fucking PJ Braun and Blackstone Labs. And then you got Big J. Like fat, drunk. I wouldn't be drunk if I'm gonna drive that Hellcat. I guarantee goddamn to you. And I wouldn't be drunk driving that fucking '68. People are stupid. Do more Hamburg impression, but make him more gay. I, I just, dude, I don't need to talk about Hamburg anymore. If you guys don't know what that guy is all about, I can't help you. He literally needs to be, um, trust me, he's not going to be part of the misfits on his next vacation. That little cocksucker thinks he's going to come fly over here and be a tough guy. You know, you know who's going to hang out with him next time he comes here? I, I don't want to name names, but... Let's talk about Hamburg's last vacation to Florida. I probably hung out with him the most, or maybe Adam McLeod did. Brad saw him once. Hamburg's hands were shaking so bad till he got his first beer. And Andrew hung out with him once. Said his wife and daughter were silent, didn't want to be there, playing on their fucking phones. I was there when um he came and saw Lenny at the gym and he was drunk. We don't need people like that in the fucking misfits. You know? You want to be a misfit? Bring a 10cc bottle of water-based suspension. We'll all do... We'll all hit some water base together and go to the gym. And, you know, meet Lenny at the gym drunk. You're a fucking loser. Yeah. Fuck Nate. I say we leave Nate alone because that that little cuckolderess that he's with is going to ruin his life all on her own. We don't need to do one thing to Nate. You need to, you people need to trust me. That chick is going to ruin Nate. So we don't need to be mean to Nate. 
Nate's got enough issues. Nate doesn't even know who he is. Nate struggles with his own identity. I mean, Nate dresses like like a 21-year-old fucking black kid who, who thinks he has money because he's been working at Target, you know, since he was 18. Like he's got three years seniority at Target, and he, he's making fourteen fifty an hour. And he can afford clothes. That's how Nate dresses. Nate's an idiot. That's a perfect analogy. Nate struggles with his sexuality also. I don't know about that. I think Nate is hetero. I don't know. But. <clears throat> Nate fears of getting his heart broken every day. That's no way to live. Listen, fuck stains. I'm going to give you the best advice you've ever given. And I, wa I want you to just go jack off after I say this. Because this is going to hurt. And it's going to be bad. But it's going to be the best advice you've ever got in your life. You ready? The person. values the relationship least controls the relationship. Get it? The person that doesn't value the relationship is going to run the other person ragged. Like, look at how Nate fucking hopped on a fucking transatlantic fight, flight to go talk after she posted those videos with Taylor. Dude, seriously? He endured the torture of a transatlantic flight to go talk? Dude, get the fuck out of here with that. I'm not enduring the torture of a transatlantic flight to fuck anybody. Literally nobody. None of my MILF porn fucking... God damn, I can't get my dick in the jug. I'm pissing all over the place. I gotta set the phone down. Yeah. Nate endured the torture of a transatlantic flight to go talk about it. What? What? The person that cares about the least controls the relationship. The people that care will make 
asses out of themselves. Do we have any questions? I mean, I, I hate to bring up examples, but look at, I can't help myself. Look, I can't say her name. I want to say it. Um, there's people that, you know, they get home theaters for Christmas. Um, their husband builds them garage gyms. And they stay married. See? The person that values the relationship the least controls the relationship. So you want to go try and play like good boyfriend, good husband, like you're going to fix things? You just lost. Because you're going to wind up with a woman who's, who's going to be like, well, I really need a, a garage gym for my videos because I got these five kids and I need a garage gym. I, I got to keep up with my Instagram, my fans only page. And then, then comes Christmas and she's going to be like, well, we really, you know, with these f five kids we adopted, um, you know, we're going to need some theater seating for this home theater. Because, see what I'm saying? Always be the one that cares the least. person that cares the most is going to put the most in and lose the most and always be the most hurt. Like, you might see some of these Instagram girls, you know, like, acting all sexy, and um, you find out that they, they got a fans-only page or whatever it's called. And then you find out they're really married. How much do you think they care about their relationship? They don't. The ones... Always be the one that cares the least. That's the only way you have control. If anybody disagrees with me, you can go fuck yourself. I'll tell you what. Because as a man, that's the only power you have left, is to care the least. Go try and be a good husband, good boyfriend. Come back to me and tell me how that works out. Oh, Jay, I, I was such a good boyfriend. I was such a good husband. Tell me how it works out. Tell me. Now, I'm not telling you to not put any skin in the game. You gotta put some skin in the game. I'm going to tell you how to do it right. Best advice I ever got from another man about dating in my life happened in about 1988. A man named Randy Blaylock from Canton, Ohio. Or Canton, Michigan, I'm sorry. Lives right down the street from Big Rob.
fraternity brother of mine. He told me, Jay, don't buy women presents. Always take them out to dinner because you ate half that food. And I feel the same way about flowers for fucking holidays. Send them flowers. Because you can do that on the internet from your couch. Be the one that cares the least. 